Nancy with Real Mom Real Solutions. Today I'm going to do a quick little tour of my new laundry room. On my last video on the wrinkle releaser and color captures, a lot of people commented that they wanted to see the new laundry room and noticed it was different. We ended up doing a, a total remodel of our laundry room, but it was not planned. So I got a new washer and dryer off of um, a daycare grant. I do daycare in my home and because of the COVID stuff, then they have had some grants that you can get for your daycares um, as far with, to help with cleaning and everything. So we actually got a new washer and dryer. My old one was going out, so it was actually really awesome timing. So I ordered the new washer and dryer and it two days before it came in, I realized that it was too big for the space that I had. Um, anyway, so I had two days to take out the old cabinets and make room for the new washer and dryer because it did not fit in the existing, it, my old one was a stackable washer and dryer and the new one was too wide and it didn't fit in that spot. And I didn't want to return it and exchange it for a smaller one just because we have such a large family. I wanted the bigger one and also um, it when I got it, it was on sale for Memorial Day and it was no longer on sale now that it was getting delivered. So I had to make it fit. So I had two days to totally remodel and redo my laundry room. We had to take out the old cabinet and then behind it, then it was, there was no paint. There was no crown molding. We had to go through and paint everything and fix it all up and make room for the new washer and dryer.
part of the new laundry room. Okay, so as you walk in, I still have my changing station over here and we just painted the walls so that they are much lighter color. I love it so much more. So in my changing station, I have my extra diapers on the top, the large ones and then the smaller ones and then extra baby wipes. And then, um, anyway, I have the diapers. We haven't labeled them, but I have my bigger ones on the left, the smaller ones on the right, extra changing pads on the far right, and then swim diapers in the middle. Um, anyway, and then, yeah, the middle section is for my changing supplies, bags, powder, wipes. Um, the left side is for as we're walking out the door and the kids haven't fixed their hair, so we got water. I have a brush back there somewhere. Maybe the kids moved it. And then uh, this little thing is uh, got elastics and clips and stuff in it. Anyway, so a little thing for, for fixing hair. And then on the far right is like our cleaning station. It has a, a blue light wand is what's in here. Um, and then the Clorox wipes, um, water for breeze, stuff like that. And these are just um, changing pads for the changing table. So we have the little changing pads that go inside there. So that's just my diaper changing station area. This is a cleaning closet, just all of our different cleaning supplies and then brooms and mops. Okay, so right here, I actually put a hook to hang my car seat and then I hang my diaper bag here. So for the car seat, I'll show you. It's just an extra large hook that we made sure was in a stud because the car seats are heavy. But um, I've actually used that hook for a really long time. It definitely holds, it's been awesome. And then I have baskets on top for extra supplies. And then we have our fabric softener and baking soda. I use baking soda, especially when washing kitchen rags and stuff like that. We just have like a little scooper in there. Um, and then these are dryer sheets and we have bleach and vinegar that I also use for washing rags and stuff. And the vinegar works great for getting out smells. And then my laundry soap, it's just a liquid laundry soap. And I'll put a link below on where I got, I got all these off of Amazon, actually all these containers. And um, I love these things. They just slide underneath um, and they make so that you don't end up with a big mess on your counter. Anyway, I just got a, a butcher's block from Lowe's and then I just cut it the right size. I had to cut the little nook because of the window so that we could still open the window. Um, and, and then we also put a little garbage can here for the lint. And this thing fits like so perfect right here. I got this off Amazon. Um, it just holds like your extra supplies and stuff. And then I put my garbage can on it, but it just slides right back into that little nook, which is perfect. And I'll put a link for where I got my washer and dryer or what brand and kind they are and everything. And then I got this off Amazon as well. This is that wrinkle release. I actually put it inside of a spray bottle. Um, it's just one of those continuous spray water spray bottles. And then I just labeled everything with a Cricut machine that I got for my birthday. So now I can label all my stuff from all my other videos. I still need to go through and do all that though. Um, on my ironing board, I actually added this thing to the back of it so that it could hang because this kind is not meant to hang. But I wanted the tabletop kind because I don't iron a whole lot and I didn't want the great big iron ironing board. So that's all for this video. Please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And thank you for watching.